Right then guys, this is another heads up. Don't go into a calorie deficit for any long period of time, okay? For weight loss or for uh, prepping, okay? There is an old saying that says it's better not to eat than eat uh, just a little, and it's very, very true, okay? You're better to fast and to feast than you are to lower your calories, okay? So if, for instance, you have X amount of preps and you realize that you, are, you, you can't do your 2,000 a day, Therefore, you're gonna to have to trim them down to 1,200, okay? That actually can be pretty uh, bad for your metabolism over a period of time, yeah? Um, there has been uh, a few studies on this, but it doesn't seem to have sunk in in the Western world that a uh, calorie deficit is actually bad, yeah? Now, you have bodybuilders that will, um, they'll bulk up, won't they, when they're um, building muscles, and then they will cut um, their calories down to get rid of the fat, so the muscles pop, yeah? Uh, it's not really a healthy way to do it. Uh, weight loss uh, people will uh, go on a calorie deficit and they will lose the weight, but as soon as they start eating again, <laughs> the body puts the weight straight back on again, doesn't it? Because it needs that there. But the downside is with a calorie deficit, of course, is your body um, it has a certain basal uh, metabolic rate which it runs at which is running your heart running your brain running your breathing all that sort of thing it's actually it consumes a lot of energy regardless of what extra energy you put out there with running and doing activity okay it still needs those calories 2000 calories a day just to run your body mechanism yeah so if you cut that down what happens is the body decides to start to cut down functions yeah so um Dr. Ansel Keys, he's reputed for uh, getting it wrong with the uh, healthy heart diet, which was uh, low fat, high carbohydrate diets. You know, he got it wrong. But uh, he uh, also did a study in the Second World War about um, starvation. Yeah, uh, he experimented on soldiers, uh, give them calorie deficits, and the results weren't very good. Yeah. Um, and he also designed a K ration, believe it or not. I didn't know that until I was reading uh, Dr. Jason Fung's book. Yeah, it's amazing what you, you learn when you get a little bit of knowledge. Yeah, uh, but in the study, basically the guys that had the calorie reductions, they were having all sorts of problems. Um, they couldn't keep warm. Yeah, cold, shivering. They were having mental disorders. Their body functions were shutting down bit by bit by bit because as the body gets less in, what it does, it shuts certain things down in the body or, or slows them down. It slows the metabolism down to what's coming into the body, yeah? So that's a one, okay? So people who go on uh, extended calorie deficits often change their metabolic rate <laughs> and it stays like that for a long time. You know, it's, it's not a good thing. It's not good advice. Uh, the science now has proven it, although you do still get uh, sports nutrition books that, that will come out with uh, advice about eating six times a day or doing calorie deficits, all that sort of thing. It's a no-no, it really is a no-no, okay? Um, I could talk a lot about this for the stuff I've learned, but I really want to talk about experiences more than anything and what I've learned by what I do, yeah? And fasting is definitely a way, yeah? The, the difference between a calorie deficit is, is you're cutting calories down all the time, whereas fasting, you are eating when you are eating, and I mean you're eating, yeah. I had a huge lump of meat the other night, and uh, yeah, that went into breakfast the next day. It was fat stuck on it, and I was only eating until I felt full, yeah, uh, to get a, a satiety, as it were, okay, which is when you, you, your body actually says, yeah, I'm not hungry now, you can stop feeding me, yeah. Um, when you're eating carbohydrates and sugars and things like that, what happens is your stomach actually um, takes the stuff, smashes it up quickly and gets rid of it, yeah? If you're eating calorie-dense food, calorie-dense food, yeah, which means you don't have to keep stuffing, you know, you just have enough to, to eat, yeah? Um, what it does is it sits in your stomach longer and uh, it'll tell your brain that you don't want to eat, therefore you don't eat for ages, yeah? And it takes longer to, to work itself through into the large intestine, yeah? Absolutely fascinating, absolutely fascinating. If I was uh, uh, able to put an application in for reincarnation, I think I'd come back as a doctor and a nutritionist because the, the systems that are involved into the body are, are, are far more complex than an automobile. But if you do the study and you're interested and you, and you uh, do learning about it, the book learning, okay, I'm not going to teach you this. I'll give you heads up and I'll give you some resources, yeah. It's it's a thing that is good to learn. It's a good thing to learn. Now, I think uh, just basic um, 
nutrition, how the body works, how your energy cycles work for a prepper is, is vitally important because when you've nailed that at least then you know um, what you can eat when you can eat it and how long you can go without yeah and it is at the end of the day prepping is not just about stuffing your, your cupboards full of all the crap that um, that you like um, in society now like M&Ms and fucking uh, tins of peaches that are full of sugar and all that sort of stuff it's more a case of what can you do without yeah and uh, yeah, that's most of the crap that, <laughs> that people store in their their, uh, their their store cupboards, don't they? Yeah, you'll be surprised. Wheat, um, corns, rice, sugar, um, uh, potatoes, starches, stuff like that. They have their place. They obviously have their place, but we overconsume them. We over rely on them, and we don't look at the things that we should really have. If there was any anything I'd, I would say, just for the end of this video, okay. <clears throat> is that don't eat processed foods regardless of, of anything okay don't eat processed foods which actually will you look at your preps and go oh shit everything's processed yeah you need to eat real food yeah um that's fresh yeah that way you're healthy and you're not going to put weight on yeah that is the rule of thumb yeah and if you time your foods right even better yeah if you'd like me to talk a little bit about insulin response and uh, hyperinsulinemia, I can um, I can tell you a little bit about it and the fatty liver and, and why we do get fats. Uh, but you need to request that from me, okay? Because I'll have to listen back to Jason again and uh, then try and regurgitate it. But if you're that type of person who's into studying hard, then look at his books, read his books, or... or uh, listen to his books like I do when I'm, I'm driving to work so I'm picking this information up and I'm applying it in my life all the time yeah it's not just to do it for YouTube this is this is real yeah I was diabetic so I've actually managed to cure myself of insulin resistance which is vital okay uh, which I will talk about in a video uh, I think it's quite important that you know my Batman story at some point don't you yeah but not yet in the next video. Anyway, it's uh, all clear outside. Let's go and uh, I shall see you later, guys. Bye.